Hi there, this is Joe from Square XO and this is Square XO episode 37. I'm joined by Rebecca. Hello. And Dan. Hello. No, Nicole, this week. Uh, before we start, just remember to follow us on twitter.com slash square underscore XO and twitch.tv slash square XO. Uh, follow us on iTunes and on patreon.com slash square XO. We're also on, you can download us. Like, if you want to listen on Podbean. I forgot the name of it for a second, but that's what it's called. <laughs> and you can obviously just download and listen on your phone as well. So that's quite cool. Uh, don't forget to visit youtube.com slash Johansson Water. So that's where you'll find our videos. And also, there's one more thing I was going to say. Our website, squarexo.co.uk. Because that's got lots of reviews on it and all sorts of other stuff as well. So yeah, that's it all. But if you can back us on Patreon, that'd be brilliant because that make us grow bigger and faster, stronger, and all that. <laughs> yeah, I swear that's the song, big, faster, stronger. I, th- I think it, it is. Probably yeah. is. Yeah, <laughs> I think so. It's, I can't remember what song it is. Uh, right. Okay, that's that. Right. So time for some gaming news. We never had any last week because it was already yet special. So if you haven't listened to that, go listen to it. Don't forget to leave us a nice review on iTunes as well. Because that's always appreciated. Okay, news. Right, I think one of the first bits of news that spring to mind is the Red Dead Redemption 2 trailer. Which mm. was launched Thursday, I think it Thursday. was. Thursday. Yeah, I mean, I knew it was going to be. I saw these headlines going, oh, big announcement, big announcement on <laughs> Thursday for that. But I said at the time, it would be a trailer and I was proved yeah. right. And I knew it would be. So, I mean... Don't know, nice looking trailer. Well, I mean, there's nothing much else to say about it. I don't think. <laughs> Is it bad tra- that I've not seen it? Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's been on loads of YouTube yeah. videos, like the ads before YouTube videos that I've seen. Depends mm, how much you. Yeah. yeah, it depends how much you look at YouTube, I guess, but or yeah. internet or Twitter, because it's all over the all of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I, I guess I'm not massively interested in it, so I suppose I'm just I just ignore it or don't. If it comes just on, or there, I just on move it. on. Yeah, yes. yeah. I don't know if I'm interested. I'll play it because it's Rockstar, and I'll just probably play it, and then I'll get bored of it a bit. After about an hour, what I do with other games, to yeah. be honest. I mean, I'm not saying they're any great quality, but I find they're all quite. What's the word? Boring? No, not boring. <laughs> yeah. I think they are really good. I mean, the presentation, the quality, it's all it's all there. But yeah. I just find it a bit a mundane after a while, generally. Yeah. Even yeah. though it is... Because I guess it's just because it's a bit like open-world city game where you're just... Like GTA, where you're just driving through one area to the next to do the next mission. But you can kind of do what you want in between. I mean, I do like GTA. I think it's... A great game, but I just know that I get bored of it and I never ever complete it. I mm. get to a certain point where I think oh, I've had enough of this now, and I, or I get distracted with something else, and then I never ever go back to it. And that's what happened with GTA Five. I've kind of never completed that. I played quite a lot of it, but then I kind of got distracted and I've never went back to it, sort of thing. Yeah. Red Dead Redemption was kind of the same for me. I played a lot of that as well. But I don't think I was really interested in the story in that much. I think I was just quite happy just riding about uh, in the country, just looking around. I think that's what I like about those games, just exploring a wee bit and just and never really paying much attention to the story. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, what I tend to do with their the games. World. And then I remember in Red Dead Redemption, I think one of the trophies was to kill one of the developers. <laughs> and I think I'd done it by mistake. I just saw these two guys sitting about next to their horses and I walked up and shot both of them. <laughs> and I a trophy pinged up saying, oh, killed one of the developers or something. I swear <laughs> it did. I might be wrong. Somebody can correct me if that wasn't a trophy, but I swear, I swear it was. So, yeah. <laughs> but nah, nah I'll, I'll play it. But... I know I'll probably quite look forward to it, but I know I'll probably get bored of it pretty quickly as well. Yeah. Okay, the PlayStation Plus lineup for October was announced. That's Metal Gear Solid Five, Amnesia Collection, uh, 
Riggs obviously is still a free bonus game for PSVR. That shoe is still there as well. Uh, Monster Jam Battlegrounds for PS3, Hustle Kings for PS3, U for PSV and PS4, and Sky Force Anniversary for PSV and PS4. Uh, games it's not too shabby. <laughs> no, it's not bad, is it? We'll come back to that in two seconds. I just want to sh- tell you the games with gold ones as well while we're at it. Xbox mm. Live members can download Indie Adventure Gone Home. Well, the Turn test will be available to download from the 16th of October to 15th of November. Uh, 15th of November is also my birthday, so that's quite cool. Uh, Xbox <laughs> Gold subscribers can download Rayman 3 from October 1st to October 15th, then Meadow on a Rare Burn from uh, October 16th to October 31st. And those two last games I mentioned are backwards compatible. So that's all the sort of free games you get if you're a plus or a live member for this mm. month. So not bad. It's really good, yeah. And I mean, I've, I'm not a Metal Gear fan, as you know, so I've no interest But that's good in if that. people are interested in it and they just need that little boost to, you know, actually play it. And, oh, there you go, it's available for them for free this month. I think that's really good. Yeah. I think it it's a good game to, to have in there because it's a AAA and people have been you know, moaning for quite a while about the, maybe the, the offerings not being great. Mm. So it, it's good. I, if I'd say, though, that most Metal Gear fans would have bought it, and if you're not a Metal Gear fan, it's not the best one to, to, to kind of start with. But mm. that's just me being picky and pedantic. I mean, it's great that it's free. You can't really argue. It's a huge game as well. Yeah. So, yeah. It's not, a, not a bad mm. list. Hey, now a bit of news is there's layoffs at Saint Road developer Volation. Uh, the ones who made recently made Agents of Mayhem. So obviously that game's not went uh, down too well because they've had to lay some staff off. So that's that's sad, really. But it's just Didn't one of they, these. Um, release that at quite a busy time of year though. So there was a bit. It was released in a congested time, wasn't it? So. August kind of or thing. September. Yeah, yeah there's quite off. a few games then. But I suppose you, you can't forever hold off a game because of that. But yeah, mm. it's a shame anyone losing their job though. Yeah. Yeah, but apparently, apparently, it's sort of, it's an okay game. Do you know what I mean? It's nothing really mega special. But it wasn't really marketed a lot. I would say. I mean, there's always a lot of. A lot of things to whether a game's going to be successful or not. It's not just if it's a good game. It's sort of hype around it and all that sort of thing. Yeah. Obviously, I don't think there's really a lot of hype around that game. I mean, maybe a little bit, but nobody was really that interested in it to begin with, I don't think. So, so there yeah. we go. Uh, also, uh, Battlefront 2. You got a new trailer as well, single player trailer. That looked really cool. Right, I don't know if anyone saw it. I exactly. haven't actually seen that. Because the thing I'm excited about for Battlefront 2 is the fact that it does actually include a campaign this time round. I mean, the yeah. multiplayer, I mean, and you know me, I don't really like multiplayer games, but the multiplayer in Battlefront was just outstanding. I loved it until they screwed it up by releasing <laughs> the season pass and splitting the community. Before that, though, it was it was just perfect. It was probably the, one of the best multiplayer games I'd ever played. I just loved it. So yeah. I'm really excited for part two because I, I know that they're not going to split a community this time, so it's going to be amazing. Um, it's going to be a big hype wave as well with the just, new film. Yeah, it's just so much bigger than the first game as well. There's more yeah. vehicles, there's more heroes, there's more weapons, there's more maps. It's going to be epic. And then there's also this... A single player campaign where you actually play as the bad guys it's going to be awesome and it looks cool. really good I think it's just it's just one of these games that yeah I can't wait I might actually play the beta which kicks off in a few days time because I've got because we pre-ordered it we got the early access to the beta so I might give it a go but I don't I tend to not like playing betas because I quite like playing fresh when the yeah, game comes out, yeah. uh, uh, it gives me something excited about because I think beaters kind of kill the hype a bit. Cause a bit it like with excited... um, demos as well. Yeah I, yeah, I know I don't play demos either because I just, 
I just don't like doing it. I don't, even if yeah. it's a game I'm not looking forward to, I just don't like playing beaters of demos. I'd rather play it fresh and then if I like it, I can keep playing. If I don't like it, it doesn't put me off then. So, yeah, yeah, I'm exactly the same. Yeah. So I'm not, I'm not that keen. Be interesting <laughs> to know what our listeners think of demos and beaters. Oh, I just don't so. have the time to play a demo. Like, I'd rather play a full game and work and towards skip something. skip the demo. Yeah, yeah. Than, than just play a demo for three or four hours and then decide I don't like it and then I feel like I've wasted that time. Yeah. yeah. Me too. So, yeah, listeners, let us know what you think of beaters and demos because it'd be quite interesting to know your opinion. Hey, a few more bits of news, not much, actually. The doors have closed on the Chinese room for now. The Chinese room made... Help me out here. What is that again? Um, Edith Finch, everybody's is it? gone to the rapture. Everybody's got an rapture. Yeah. They made Edith Finch as well, is that right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, but the, everybody's gone to the rapture. That's the one I was thinking of, but I just couldn't think about it. I think they said they're done with walking simulators now, so they're not going to do mm-hmm. any more of them. I don't know what or what they've shut down for. Uh, they've got 11 or 12 people. Uh, <laughs> in the wow. studio but I think for now they're just saying right let's just take a break or something and we'll come back and yeah. do something another time but I uh, don't know I was just reading the story I think they are just going to come back well there's no harm in taking a break is there if you know they feel the need to step it back it just and... says in terms of long term studio in terms of the long term future of the studio, let's just wind things down for now. Mm. That's what they said. But eh, I can imagine maybe they'll be back. Who knows? Hopefully. I don't think I'm sure they will. I don't think the game was in that special, personally. <laughs> you walked about. It was a bit <laughs> confusing. As well. It's down to What's interpretation, it wasn't it? Yeah. It's, got, it's just a bit weird. And some points in it, I was like, oh, where am I going? Because I got <laughs> lost at one point for about two hours. I couldn't mm-hmm. figure out what way to go. And I was just in this road, and I swear, I kept walking in circles for about two <laughs> hours. And I was like, oh, I've had enough of this. <laughs> so, yeah. But I did complete it. But then I got it then, and I was like, eh, don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, it's a, it's a head-scratcher, for sure. It's a bit weird. Felt a waste of my time a bit. But I think I kind of liked it at the time, but I, now that I think about it, I think, oh, well, that was a waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Okay, uh, last bit of news is the charts. Obviously, there's new charts out tomorrow, at the time of recording, so all we can talk about is the last charts, which was for last Monday, and that was last week. That is Destiny 2 was number one. Project Cars 2 actually debuted at number two, so well done mm-hmm. to that. NBA K two NBA two K eighteen was number three. Pez was number four and Pokemon number five. It was interesting to see the basketball game beat the football game. Uh, GTA is still there as well at number six, as you'd expect. And then blah yeah. blah. But yeah, I think we all know what will be number one tomorrow, FIFA. Yeah, yeah by a long, long 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 way as well, won't it? Yeah. Yeah. I don't what else came out. I don't think there was much else came out, was there? Uh, I don't think so. Any of the SNES Mini, that's the only thing that I can think yeah, of. Yeah, the SNES that's... Mini. Yeah, I got, I got that. I played it a little bit so far, but I don't know. I've never had yeah. a SNES, you see, so it was quite a unique thing for me to try and see what it was all about, just because I've never, I never owned one. Yeah, I haven't so, even opened mine yet. I was just on the <laughs> side. So I had no. a go of Super Mario World, I think, which seems yeah. quite fun yeah, enough. Yeah, it's a good game, that one. Yeah, yeah it seems yeah. fun enough. But some of the others, obviously, I don't really know what they are because I've never played yeah. them before. So it's a bit like... I did have a wee go on Mario Kart, but it's dreadful. Really? <laughs> Oh, That's course, just old. Of course it is. This is the old one. I mean, I've mm. been playing Mario Kart in the Switch, oh, so of course to then you go have, back yeah. to play it on that, it's just like, oh my <laughs> god, this is the worst game ever. It's not very good. It's dreadful. So, I mean, it'd be into, I think some of the others, I'm just going to be a bit like, oh my god, that's awful. 
but the <laughs> Mario one kind of holds up in a way because it's still a sort of fun platformer so mm. that holds up and the Zelda one which I saw Travis playing because he decided to have a go and he was playing the Zelda one that kind of looks like a DS, 3DS game yeah <laughs> so it's yeah. Like, so that doesn't it really seem at a place just because it seems like a 3DS game mm. so it's like oh well I've played that so I might give the Zelda one a go as well because that could be quite fun actually kind that's, of the, the, that's the best Zelda that there, in my opinion has ever been so I'd recommend it but would it still I be a good Zelda game even yeah it's, it's still the best one by a long way yeah, but why? Why? Because of the world and the puzzles and the dungeon. Which it, one are we talking dungeons. about? Link to the Past. Oh, yeah, I played that on the Wii about yeah. five years ago. That is a really good game and it has held up very well. Yeah. I imagine just it's with... not as good looking on the Oh, no, but it has like it a really nice classic. Wii. Graphics don't mean anything, though, do yeah. they? Really it looks don't. great for yeah. what it's meant no, to look I like. I suppose they do. I mean, there's certain games I'd like. To play. I'd like to have a go a golf story on the, on the Switch, but I've not mm-hmm. bought it yet because I've just got too much other stuff to play. But that's probably one I'll play. And obviously, that's not the greatest looking game in the world. Mm-hmm. And really, Stardew Valley as well, which is kind of cute in its own way. But it's not the. It's, again, it's not the greatest looking game in the world, but it's still mm-hmm. a really, really good game. So, yeah. no, it mm-hmm. works on everything now. Yeah, but still, I'll I'll don't know I'll just play through it all and I'll see what I think of it. I guess. Yeah. But, no, so, so far, the Mario one seems okay, but I I guess, I I guess that's really the only one I've had to go of, apart from the Mario Kart, which was dreadful. <laughs> but I'll see what some of the others. Are. Oh, I did have a quite go of Star Fox, but bloody hell, that was awful as well. What that was back in the day. That was like um cutting edge technology with the super <laughs> fx chip God, making look. the the 3d ships but yeah oh, it's you so funny how far yank- we've come yeah you were kidding and yanked yourself oh my god what is this <laughs> <laughs> it's just weird it's technology like... has certainly advanced hasn't it yeah. yeah not half man i mean it's crazy to think that's the thing you don't realize i think how far the graphics have come so quickly yeah. I mean, it's just crazy to think that just a few years ago we're playing games that were no one need as good as they do now. It makes you Eight. wonder in another 20 year times where the hell we're going to be. Yeah. yeah, but I think, I don't know, I think at one point it slows down, doesn't it? Because they're getting to look so realistic now that they couldn't possibly get much more realistic at some point. Do you know mm. what I mean? Because you don't want it. Doesn't want have it. to be realistic to look amazing, does it? it they, there could be other techniques and visual inputs, and um, just the way, of, like, um, so something in Uncharted that's really clever with its graphics is the interaction between Drake and the environment. So when you walk against a wall, he'll run right. his hand along it. Yeah. It's not just about looking great. It's about the power that it enables natural things to happen like yeah. grass swaying or curtains yeah the but there's a there's a point where it where it kind of gets to where it's a bit like okay that's a bit as good as it's gonna get i think i mean i, I don't f- think it'll ever stop no it'll never stop there'll always be someone sort of bringing out new ways of making things better and that's mm-hmm. fine but i'm just saying the gap between then and now like that mario for instance where it it's pretty bad and or uh, imagine trying to do an un- imagine what an uncharted would have looked like on one of those <laughs> consoles do you know what i mean it'd just been a yeah. pixel guy or whatever and now you've it got it where you blink and think it's a movie it looked like another world yeah. uncharted would do if you google that uh, do you that's know what, what i mean no now it, you could be mistaken for thinking it's a movie so there's always so much more they could do to make it st- work like that do you know what i mean yeah yeah, yeah. Of course. so i think and the technology i think is slowing down a bit mm. Com- well. compared to the weeks it was taken just because it's getting so good basically yeah so, yeah okay where are we at right i've just lost my notes now let me get them back <laughs> up okay right that's the news done anyway uh 
I, actually, there was one bit of news which I left to ask because I just thought it was quite interesting that the wee, talking that we actually, the wee shop channel was shutting down in 2019. Mm-hmm. Uh, which is quite interesting because you won't be able to play your games anymore if you downloaded them. Oh, mm-hmm. what, oh! I was going to say, what, so get in there now and buy everything. Buy them quick. Well, it's not even <laughs> buying them, it's kind of if you already own them. So what will happen is if you... Once the shop shuts down and you own, you won't be able to download again. So obviously if you get rid of your Wii or you remove all, any game from it after it shuts down, then that's it. If you bought the game, you won't get it back. It's gone. It's gone. Yeah, well, which there you is go. Kinda, that's always been my argument this is the, why digital's bad. Well, this yeah, is probably <laughs> one of the major, sort of, most major things to happen with digital in terms of console at the moment yeah. and it, it's probably the first major thing to go right it's shutting down now yeah i mean i think the xbox done it because obviously but i don't know but obviously at that time there wasn't really as many digital purchases but the wii is probably the first big one where you could purchase digital and it's shutting down yeah because well, i had all the virtual console games as well as all the kind of digital games didn't they so there's a lot in that store Gosh, yeah. there's loads. Some real classics in there. So right well. though, you can buy a super rare SNES Mini for extortionate <laughs> prices on eBay to keep playing them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, that I thought that was quite interesting. Could be a topic because I know we've talked about it before, and but I thought it was just like, oh man, what's going to happen? I mean, I own close to nine hundred downloads on PS3. I would say. Wow. I mean, they're not all games, but we're talking DLC, sing store songs or whatever, uh, costumes, games, all sorts. I know I had about 900 bits of items in my library. So to think that they could all go, even though I never touched them, but just to think they could all go would be pretty annoying. But when you, when you purchase digital, you don't, I don't, I might be wrong, but you don't actually purchase the fact, you don't purchase the ownership of the digital item, you purchase a license to use it. So technically, you never actually own what you buy digitally, you're just uh, owning Borrow. a version to use it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and but if you look in the store, for instance, when you buy something digital, it will say start date and expiry date on it. Mm. And usually if you've bought a game there's no expiry date listed next to it yeah they wouldn't do that yet but it will expire at some point because they won't like well like nintendo are doing with the wii they'll just turn it off so yeah you lose everything but you as a consumer i don't think you have any rights if you look at steam for instance they don't do that really do they i mean i don't know i don't use my steam library's massive and I don't think any game's ever been removed from it, from what I know. I'm a bit hard. I'm sure but... some will have. Because didn't they remove the Turtles game from the PlayStation Network? Because the Tur- Activision lost the Turtles license. So then they had to remove the game. It... Yeah, occasionally so... that sort of thing happened, yeah. So, again, yeah. But if you own physical, then you own it. And if you wanted to sell it on, you can sell it on. Do you know what I mean? You are literally the owner. Whereas, yes. like you said, on digital, you know, there's a chance that one day you log on and the news says, oh, we're closing down the Steam store or the PSN store. You're losing every single title you purchased. Yeah. So well, that's why like, I like, like physical Netflix. copies. <laughs> they, they take, they put films up and they remove films on Netflix and Amazon constantly. Don't oh, all they? the time, so, yeah. You know, yeah, you're I'm... never actually guaranteed that you can have what you want. Yeah, it's quite cool in that respect. But I'm to buzz, it doesn't really bother me too much unless it's a game I really, really love because once when I generally, when I buy a game, I'll play it and then I don't generally go back to it a lot. So I've got all these games on my shelf. Well, wow, I own them, right? But really, what are they worth? Yeah. No, I mean, what are the, what is... Let me, have a look, let me just pick one at <laughs> random. What's, what's Dungeon Siege 3 worth? now <laughs> on ps3 yeah. it's worth about two pound if i was to sell it yeah. you know what i mean 
I've sold a bunch of games before and barely got 20 quid for about 30 games. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so they're, yeah. they're not really, they're not worth anything anyway. It's just what they mean to you more than anything exactly. else. I was going to say, yeah, it's, it's the but sentimental. if they're all that, sitting on my that. shelf, there's no sentimental value because I don't ever play them. So it mm. just depends but why on the person, on your shelf, I guess. Then? Why don't you sell them if they don't mean anything to no, you? because I can't be bothered. Because <laughs> they're just sat there and it look, makes look all right on the shelf. I don't know. <laughs> you're a hoarder like me. <laughs> you value them to some aspect because otherwise you would sell them. Yeah. No, not really. I don't. I don't care well, yeah. about any of those games on my shelf. I'll never put any of them. So I can guarantee if they, it. Say you're, if your wife sold them, would you be annoyed or would you not mind? I'd probably just be annoyed because the shelf would be a thing. <laughs> I think so, that's yeah, probably so that's the thing that denies me. Them. You value the visual aspect of them being there. Yeah, if you say so. I <laughs> think I do. So, I just think it's nice to have a shelf foot and a bit fuller. That's, all. Well, I, that's why I like one of the reasons I like physical as well, because I love having them there to look at. So, I get what you mean about the visual aspect of them. Yeah. Yeah, but otherwise I'm not bothered. I'd rather buy games digitally every day. Hmm. Just but what would you do it. then? But then when they do turn off the PS4 store in 20 years' time, you're going to be annoyed, Then I'll be you? playing PS10 or whatever, but then <laughs> so I'll know I've yeah. ever played those PS4 games in 20 years anyway, so I'm not really that bothered. Yeah. It won't bother me, honestly. Because, I mean, I don't know. You buy stuff all the time, don't you? And then yeah. You, it's the same with DVDs and Blu-rays. I mean, I'd buy them digitally. I'd much rather because all the Blu-rays I've got are all sitting under my bed and I don't think I've ever took them out in about five years. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so it's yeah. like, so I f- when I f- ever think to myself, oh, I'll buy a Blu-ray, I think, no, I'll just get it digitally because I, n- I know that I'll never probably use the disc after the one time that I watch it. Mm. So, yeah. I mean, I think it's pointless. I mean, it, you do it, you buy stuff all the time. It's like if you buy a pair of a trainers, for instance, you wear them. You don't keep them once you're done with them, do you? Once no. they've got a hole in yes, them, yes, you replace you throw, them. You don't you you throw them away. Wear them out. <laughs> yeah. And you throw them away. You don't think, oh well, they cost me forty quid. I better keep them on my shelf forever. <laughs> mm. So I mean, it's the same with controllers and stuff. Once they break, you throw them away, don't they? Mm. so I mean it's just it's the same way anything really I mean you can just I don't know you can keep it you can keep it all but what's the point no, mm. I mean, that's just the way I think about it but anyway <laughs> <laughs> uh, right where was I right, that was your topic that's what I was talking about but uh, mm. that was fun okay right we've got some questions Uh from users so let's have a look and see what they say there was some quite good ones here actually which xbox exclusive game past or present would you like to see on the playstation i think there's not many in in my opinion uh i could say crackdown but then you've got infamous which is kind of similar so i don't think you'd really necessarily need it Sunset Overdrive again, quite similar to stuff that PlayStation's already got. Yeah. So I don't know if I don't know if I, if I had to, to put a gun in my head or whatever, I might say those two. But I think my main one would probably Cameo, because I'd really like that, and maybe Gears of War for the campaign, because that's really good. The, Gears of War generally does a good campaign. If you ever try and put Halo near my PlayStation, though, I'll set it on fire before I'll play Halo on the PlayStation. Uh, but yeah, I think that's about it for me. Probably just... Oh, no, no, to be fair, there's a few more. Now that I think <laughs> about it, Project Gotham Racing, absolutely love that game. It was so yeah, that was going to be my shout. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so good. I love that series, so yeah, I'd take that, and I'd also take Forza Horizon as well, so yeah, because that's another brilliant series. <laughs> oh, they've done some decent ones then. Well done, <laughs> well done. But yeah, I can Maybe Alan Wake as well, because that was quite a good game. Yeah, Alan Wake. Most of the most of the really good Xbox games were actually on Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty. 
you'd struggle to pick a good one mm. off of the Xbox One. I'd say, I'd <laughs> Mine say, are from the Xbox One. <laughs> I'd say most of them come from the Xbox 360 cameo project Gotham Racing. Forza mm. Horizon, I don't know if that was on Xbox 360 or if it's all... If it's, I mean, because we're at Forza Horizon 3, so, but I'm pretty sure that started in Xbox One, so... But most of mine would come from 360, which I think was a better console than Xbox One in terms of exclusives, definitely. Mm. But yeah. But do you think in Rebecca? Um, I think I would... See, if I hadn't been to EGX, I wouldn't have known what to say, but I definitely want to play Cuphead. And it's exclusive to Xbox and PC, and I have neither of those. I just think that that game looks so quirky and so fun and it looks challenging as well which is interesting because the art style doesn't really convey something that's going to be tricky it looks like a family friendly kids game it's got really cartoon almost old school Disney style um, drawings I think that looks great I would love to play that I mean when I did the demo at EGX and they were like okay your time's up I was like no I want to play more I want to like stay with it and um, probably Sea of Thieves as well. Although I do worry about Sea of Thieves being a multiplayer. I do worry where it will be in, you know, two or three years when people are not on it anymore and Empty. how it will play. Yeah, how it will play if you don't have a good group of friends who are like, yeah, I'm up to playing it. Because I think, you know, we had 12 people in the in the server. And it, it's like, well, you know, how often are you going to get all 12 of your mates that all want to play it, that all have an Xbox? So I'd say Cuphead and Sea of Thieves for me. Yeah, the art style in Cuphead, I do, I've always liked yeah, looking look at that. But then someone said it's a really difficult game in the fall. Oh, God, I'll it's Screw really that then. Yeah, it's so hard. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not interested in difficult games. Not for me. <laughs> you want to play to relax. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, yeah. I mean, that's a shame it's difficult because it was, it was pretty cool, actually. It's quirky, isn't it? It's very unique. I mean, it's like what we were saying earlier about how art style isn't everything. Like, everything doesn't need to be realistic to be a memorable experience. It's like what we were talking about a bit ago. But, yeah, definitely, I agree with the Sea of Thieves. I just think it'll be empty after a few weeks. I think people get bored yeah. of it pretty quickly. So, yeah. I can and, see that. So, Dan? I'd um, go back a bit more old school. When... When the first Xbox released, I was a bit of a Nintendo fan and I was really disappointed that Rare had kind of jumped <laughs> ship and left Nintendo and, and started appearing on um, Microsoft's machines. So I'd quite like, and I never played it, um, Perfect Dark Zero, but I'd just, I'd just love Rare to come back with some proper <laughs> games rather than what they have been pumping out in the past few years. I'd you know they they did some absolutely brilliant Nintendo 64 games. So I know that's a bit. It's not the true answer, a real answer. But you said Project Gotham Racing, which would have been my first. But yeah, I'd have. You know, I'd I'd like to see Rare given some budget and some creative freedom. So rather than a title, I'd like them as a studio. See, Rare's yeah. Spanish, in my opinion. They're, there's no more. Yeah. yeah, they're a different studio now. I know that, but I yeah, think they were ruined by. By Microsoft. Yeah, I think so. And uh, they're, they're not the same student. They never will be. After Cameo, which was, I mean, I don't know, because obviously I never played Rare games before Cameo, really. Maybe Viva Pinata, that's a good game. That's from Rare. Yeah. That's quite good. Uh, yeah, I'd take that one. That's and, quite um, quirky. Put I'd, that I'd on also, PlayStation. Also, um, Sega released Shenmue 2 on the Xbox, <laughs> and they haven't ever released it on a PlayStation console, so. I, I want that as well. I'll yeah. take that off of them. But I'm not <laughs> too fussed about actual first-party Microsoft exclusive. They're all first-person shooters or driving games. So yeah. yeah, there's not I like a my lot, crazy really. Japanese games. <laughs> I don't think they've released any of them. I don't think they've had... Blue Dragon, yeah. I think they did. Because I got the faceplate yeah. for it. But I don't know what the game was like, but I got the faceplate for the Xbox 360 for Blue Dragon. Yeah. Which was a sort of Japanese style RPG. I've still got that faceplate, I think. It's pretty cool looking, <laughs> actually. But yeah, I don't know what that game was like. I can't think. But no, I can't, I can't think any others other than what we said. Maybe our, our listeners will be able to think a few more, then I'll be kicking myself going, oh yeah, yeah. I'd want that one and that one. But just the ones I said is the main ones that I can remember. Yeah, like some quirky that, so. ones. Because I was disappointed that Tomb Raider came out on 
on it, but then obviously eventually we've had you did that. Get it. Yeah, so yeah. Okay. Uh, what's the best PlayStation game ever? That's our <laughs> next question. Fuck. <laughs> Uh, God, that's tough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to say the least. See, this is a struggle. I don't know. Uh, I'd probably say Last of Us. Yeah, yeah I was thinking that as well. Yeah. Last of Us was pretty incredible. I mean, that's uh, that's the one that out. certainly impacted on me the most. But there's still been others which I've loved. God of War. Metal Gear of... 1 as well. Mm. I'd say. The first time I played God of War, I absolutely loved it. So I did. Oh. Really good game, I thought that is. God of War. Hey, what else? I loved Metal Gear 1 because of the way that it, it played with how you thought you could play games. I don't think anything since the first one's ever done that. <laughs> I don't think. I, I think he. Kojima kind of came out of all those great ideas and then. No one else has been able to think of anything along those lines because I think he did them all. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah that, I never that, played any of those games really, so I don't know. Can't comment. But otherwise, oh, I don't know. It's so difficult. <laughs> I mean, I think we all agree in the last of us at least, but I'm just trying to think of maybe something, something else, some some other PlayStation exclusive maybe from the past or whatever that, yeah. that would stick out uh, but you just can't think when you're on the spot can you mm-hmm. no it's difficult no it's oh I don't know no I think we'll stick with last of us in because we all agree on that one <laughs> I think yeah, we're all in agreement which is quite nice on that one <laughs> it's quite rare okay yeah. <laughs> if, if you could be any video game character who would it be and why oh god I know. Oh, we don't like these ones. We have to role play. <laughs> hey. They made us do this for my job interview. They're oh, like, really? who would you be? And I'm like, oh, God, I hate it when I have to stand up in front of people and say, I would be this person. Who did you of... say? Who did you say? I think I said, oh, God, I can't. I think. Oh, my gosh, I can't even remember. And my interview was only like three weeks ago. I think I like eradicated it from my mind because of how paranoid it made me. <laughs> It was definitely either, it was definitely either Lara Croft or Chloe Fraser. I can't remember out who out of the two of them who it was though. I think the reason was just because they're badass and they're cool. Yeah. <laughs> and that, that, without being sexist as a female, there's less role models. Yeah, exactly. Well. I mean, like, PlayStation does it great, doesn't it? When they they tackle female stereotypes in video games, they're really really good at making them, you know, badass and just as equal as the male role models that we see. Yeah. Still not as many, though, is there? No. <laughs> no. <Nope. laughs> I don't know who I'd be. No, I don't. I don't. I mean, you could say Nathan Drake, but then you're a mass murderer, so... Yeah. <laughs> I've got no Embrace it. Drake, yeah. <laughs> so I don't know about that. Uh, uh, that's tough. I don't know. Don't know. <laughs> Too hard. <laughs> Could be a uh, Cole from Infamous and be like a superhero. Okay. <laughs> I'll just be Batman, just because. <laughs> yeah, just Batman. Because Batman. <laughs> Batman's cool, isn't he? Yeah. Good to be Batman. I don't know. I'm still trying to think if there's anything that sticks out. Again, it's tough. These tough questions, I don't know. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Batman, or I'll just be somebody from rock band and be a rock star. Is that <laughs> cool? <laughs> yeah, that's, I'll choose that. <laughs> I was going to be a rock star. That's good. Hey, okay, last question. Your best soundtrack in a game? Um, I listen quite a lot to the No Man's Sky soundtrack. Really? Quite a lot. It's amazing, yeah. You've obviously, it's not. I don't think I've even really paid enough attention to pick out the soundtrack. Yeah, I've played it in about two years though. No man's sky. It's done so. by a proper band. Oh, is well, it? It's, you know, it's a it's a proper um, produced soundtrack. Yeah, mm-hmm. and um, it's amazing. Um, but also the 
the uh, Shadow of the Colossus. I own that soundtrack. That's really good. Oh, yeah. Um, I quite like big orchestral well, me music too, yeah. games. Yeah, you know, like a lot of the fun of that. At our wedding, we had, um, for the ceremony, we had soundtrack for Zelda, soundtrack for King Really? Of... That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, um, some Final Fantasy soundtracks and uh, lots of Studio Ghibli soundtrack as well. I know it's not a game, but yeah, yeah lots of kind of orchestral stuff mm. um, like that. I think for me, for a standalone game, I'd probably say Journey, but I the one I listen to the most often is, do you remember when Scoured Sword came out and it was the 25th? Oh, and it came with uh, the, that was, and it came yeah. with the disc. I still that have that disc. in my car, and I listen to that all the time. I must have that on at least twice a week. I'm just like, oh, I fancy listening to some Zelda. And Gerudo Valley comes on, and I'm like, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I really get into it. I think it's done so well. Yeah. So yeah, singular yeah. game, I'd say Journey. But like as a whole franchise, I love Zelda's music. I think they they're really good at incorporating music into the story, and oh, I could listen to that CD all day. I think it's great. I think yeah. I'll just stick to rock band again. <laughs> <laughs> That's just I'm massive, not a massive sort of fan thing. of licensed soundtracks in games. I think it breaks the escapism. Same and with actors' faces. I just thought of my music, my rock music and stuff. Um, uh, orchestra stuff's sort of very well and got its place, but I mean, to me, then it just fits in with the game and I'd kind of ignore it, so it doesn't really stick out to me. Mm. I'd rather, much rather kind of... I mean, I'm not against it. I like it and I would have it play in the background in the house or whatever and just kind of ignore it and it's, it just being playing away in the background and I'd probably find it quite relaxed now whatever but to me i just like my rock music so any any games that have got that i'm quite yeah <laughs> it's quite cool yeah. happy yeah exactly so yeah i'll stick with that <laughs> 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 boring me do you remember dragon force on um guitar hero 2 was it <laughs> like the really hard song you just all you did was just mash all the buttons and hope that you didn't die <laughs> <Hope>. <laughs> Yeah, yeah there were some quite tough songs. That's quite funny because I used to not, because I, well, I, I'm a bit like that. I don't really care. Now, like some people, I guess, when you're in Eurogamer or whatever, Eurogamer Expo or whatever, or Gamescom or whatever, there's just some people who don't care, rock band or sing star, or whatever's on the stage, and you just get these mad people up on the stage doing it. <laughs> That's me. I just like. <laughs> <laughs> I just I like that I like games like that because I just I like to, is it show off or is it just to don't know or is it just to sing along and not care in front yeah. of thousands of people I don't care <laughs> I'll do it happy so yeah <laughs> every day of the week remember Xbox took us to this thing it was called the gathering it's just this thing they did for websites where they would take all the big fan, fan sites along and kind of just show them all the games before they come out and kind of get you to meet the developers and all that sort of thing and then you would go, it would be like over a weekend so they'd put you up in a hotel and you'd go to the venue and it's a bit like a sort of mini EGX I guess but there's only about 20 years there <laughs> <laughs> so you just nice. always sit and play the games and then you go out for drinks and stuff in the evening but this one they took us to uh, we stayed at the venue so we stayed in the hotel and that was kind of the venue as well so you'd go downstairs and all the games were all set up and then in the evening we had rock bands set up could they get the mic off me the whole night no <laughs> there was a wedding next door and at midnight uh -oh. the security guy came in and he's going right he's going to stop all that singing now <laughs> I don't think I could speak the next day it's brilliant. <laughs> oh, God, I'd do that if they did a week. Love it. Brilliant. <laughs> okay. Right, I've run out of things to talk about now, I'm afraid. I've mm -hmm. done our questions. I've done everything else. Let's just have a look at what's coming out then. Let's just give a quick shout out to a few things we're doing on social media. Yeah, you so do. just before we started recording, I put up the, uh, the winners for the SQXO September screenshot competition. So people listening now can go on to our Twitter and see the four finalists. So as always, all the entries come in, the four of us, so me, Joe, Rebecca and Nick, we all pick our favourite screenshots 
um, I put a number next to each one and then do a poll and people can go on and vote for which one they like the best and the winner gets a Aloy key ring from us so yeah we picked our four they're all live and people can go on and vote now so if you're listening and you're on Twitter jump on our Twitter account and vote for your favourite screenshot we've also although that's going to end today so if you're listening before 10 o'clock on Sunday we're giving away our third and final Steam World Dig 2 key which uh, is for PS4 and PS Vita it's cross buy I don't think it's got cross save but it's cross buy and it's got two two trophy lists and whatnot so that's just a retweet to win so hopefully if you're listening to this as soon as it's live you've still got time to go and enter and then on Monday which is the 2nd of October we announced the winners of our Peach Beach Splash competition where we got free codes from Marvelous Games to give free copies of that away if you're listening on Tuesday sadly you've missed all that Um, (laughs) but you can still probably vote for the screenshot competition and Mm -hmm. if you haven't entered the competition before or you don't know what it is basically when you share a screenshot on playstation 4 you press your ps4 share button just add the hashtag uh, this month it'll be sqxo october um to all your favorite screenshots you can enter as many as you like and at the end of the month we'll all, again pick our favorite four and put them up to a public vote so just spam the hashtag mm-hmm. sqxo october get it out there and uh, yeah. yeah, share your screens. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you do that. Okay, uh, right. Hey, uh, when I'm, let's talk about what's coming out next week. I'm quite excited because Battle wow, Jesus is coming out next week. <laughs> I wish I could play it in Switch because I just think it'll be so good. On Switch, it's the sort of game I'd like to. I mean, I'm getting it in PS4. I'll get it in Switch as well, but I would just quite like to have experienced it just on Switch. This one, I think. Just because mm. it seems to be that sort of gameplay, sort of turn-based gameplay, which I think suits handheld better really than it does than it does a big screen. But still, the art style is going to be amazing, though. So the is art it style... coming out on Switch this week as well? No, nah, it's been delayed. Mm, it's right. a shame. To well, who knows? Gonna, we don't know when. Help, is it? We don't know when. So no, I'm definitely playing next week. But I mean, the art style is going to be amazing, and I just. So it's going to look awesome on my 4K TV. So I kind of guess in some respects it would be good playing it on PS4 as well. Mm. Uh, can't wait to play it. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> Did I say that? Uh, <laughs> Forza Horizon 7 is coming out. Not Forza Horizon 7. Forza Motorsport 7. That's out next week. Uh, the Hunter Call of the Will. Call of the Will? What's Call of the, Call of the what? <laughs> Call of the Wii? This seems too small. <laughs> Call it a well, but it's spelt W I L. Uh, that's out mm. next week. Uh, and uh, what the hell was that? Call Call Set Revolt 3DS. <laughs> Never heard of that. Leighton's Mystery Journal. That's out next week too. 3DS. Wonder. Wait, lad, I can't speak anymore. Lego, <laughs> Lego Ninjago movie video game. That's out next week. Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga and Bowser's Minions 3DS. Few 3DS games out next week then. Mm. Radio G Racing Revolved for PSVR and Raiden 5 Director's Cut. They're all out next week. Yeah, and then Middle Earth Shadow of Wars on the 10th of October, so that's probably the next big, big game other yeah. than Forza 7, obviously. I saw a trailer for that Lego Ninjago movie, the actual movie, and it made me laugh. Because oh. it's, it's what it is. It's I mean I don't know anything about Wigan and Jago, but they're just going. There's this cat that's destroying their city, but it's a domest normal domestic cat. So obviously it's just a real cat walking over all this Lego and knocking oh. it all over. <laughs> that's funny. And I love like, the first film, but it seems like they're milking it a little bit now, doesn't it? I don't. It just it's looks funny. Of and I, the bit that made me laugh it's not safe, sound funny when I say it is he's just going no oh, you've got to get the master weapon he's going and he calls it whatever it's called and then but he, and then the other guys go I'm sure they said on what and they're going oh it sounds dangerous and delicious <laughs> 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 it just looks really funny but the quips that the show movies funny movies always do look funny and then you watch mm-hmm. it and that's always funny bit in it yeah <laughs> Well, yeah, they um they show the best bits, don't they? And then you yeah. sit through the film, and you're like, oh, what? 
Or the, yeah. And then the, when the bit comes up, you saw it in the clip, you go, oh, good, there's that bit, and then you watch it, and it's like, oh, well, that's it now. <laughs> Disappointed now. Whereas some movies you go see, and you don't expect to be laughing your head off. I remember mm. something about Mary, I think we saw that in the cinema. That's quite an old movie, oh, though, God, isn't it? Oh, God, yeah. I don't know if we saw that in the cinema or what, but wherever we saw, oh no, it was Meet the Family we saw in Meet the Falkers. What is it called? Oh yeah, that's great. What's the first the one called? Is that the first one? We yeah. saw that in the cinema, that's hilarious. That's well funny, that. The bit with the cat knocking everything over and stuff. Oh. <laughs> that's real funny. No, so, yeah, some movies you just kind of go along not expecting to laugh and then you end up laughing your head off. But I don't really go to the cinema much because I don't like the cinema. It's so Maybe expensive. I... That's why I don't like going to the cinema. I just don't find it very comfortable. I don't. There's mm. just something about sitting there in a room with everybody else I don't really like. <laughs> I kind of yeah. prefer sitting at home watching. Yeah. I just feel more comfortable, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I get what you mean. Because you go to the toilet in the cinema and you think, oh, God, I'm going to the toilet. Everybody's watching me. Everyone's <laughs> looking at you going down the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just like, oh, God. I think I'd rather just not bother. <laughs> Wouldn't it be so bad if you're in an empty cinema and nobody else is there? I suppose that's quite cool. But when it's pure packed, which it generally is when I go because we go to see something big, then it's, it's a bit worse then. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, well. Okay, that's it. That's all I've got to say. If we anything else to talk about? Uh, unless you want to do what we've been playing. Don't think so. I've only been playing FIFA 18, to be honest. So Is it good? It's, it's just like FIFA 17, just yeah. Just FIFA 17. The journey yeah. seems really good, actually. I started that yesterday, but I only played about 20 minutes of it because I had to go out. But for what I'd played of it, it, it seems uh, it already seems a lot better than last year. It's kind of a bit more uh, the story feels a bit more meaty, so there's a bit of humour and stuff to it, which is quite cool. Mm. Yeah. So I quite like this. I think it's going to be really good, the journey this year. I've got this feeling just from, because it made me laugh, actually. Just right at the start, so I thought, well, that's a good sign. It's making me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I've got a feeling that'll be good. I can see that being a really good mode as they flesh it out over the coming years, but because it's just, it's great having a story about the football, I think. Do you think they'll be able to drag it out for years? No, but they so, might just... Do you not think they'll do one story and then... No, but they might it. just kind of move on to a different... I don't but know how what their they'll story do. be different? I did, or there's I, a man who picks a I ball. I don't know. And then... <laughs> I really don't yeah. know. I mean, yeah. I guess they'll figure it out, but what they're paid for isn't it i suppose this one seems yeah. quite good though i think so it'd be quite interesting to see how it continues i don't know obviously playing the last one you could tell it was sort of to be continued sort of thing so obviously you're continuing the same guy's story this time round. so i'd need to complete it to know what's going to happen next sort of yeah. thing but, I mean, it's hard to know because at the moment he's only, what, 17 or 18 or something. So they could get quite a lot of years out of him, really. <laughs> so, I don't know. But, yeah, I don't think I played in now, so I'm trying to think. What was that? Sorry, I was just saying that. You went all funny there. What did you <laughs> say, Dan? I oh, know, I just said surely it covered more than one year of his career. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, it is this time round, it's covering more, so I don't know. Just going to wait and see. But, yeah, mm. I was trying to have a played anything else. I mean, I've had Mario and Rabbids, but I've not really played that because I guess I've been playing what FIFA. Rebecca, then? What have uh, you been playing anything? Um, so, I started playing Hob today, which is a lovely indie game. Same as... um. Cuphead, it's got a really, really cool, unique art style. And it's really reminding me of Zelda. So oh, nice. There's like bits of grass where, you know, they're tall and you can chop them down and sometimes you'll find energy in there. And I'm like, oh, God, I feel like I'm in Hyrule. Yeah. <laughs> it's really, really good, actually. It's um very steampunk um, inspired, but um really, really nice little game. I'm hoping to have a review up for it by next week. But, um yeah, not I was going to say different from what I normally play, but... 
it's down the same lane as everything I play. I mean, I love little indie games like that, and it's it's really good, really nice story, really good music. Um, it's got like a nice theme of uh, dark and light themes in it, so it's not all happy, fun, skippy. There's lots of horrible things in there too, but it's done very well. It's a very good little game, and if anybody is listening and they're skeptical, because a few people have said to me they're skeptical, go and buy it if it's cheap. It's really good. It's worth it. Yeah, oh, I might give it a go. Go and do it. Behind do the Platinum is out? pretty hard to get. It's out, it came oh, out it? on the 26th, I think. Okay, but why but is the Platinum hard to get? Apparently you have to do like speed runs without dying and like you have oh. to go through without getting any upgrades and it's like, I can't do that, no. <laughs> yeah, Titan but. Souls was a bit like that. Did you ever play that? No. That was a good game. It was like a top-down um, t- pixel art 2D. It was basically 12 bosses in a row. Oh, God. Oh, okay. I played games um, sort of like that. It was it's a lovely game, but my god, was it hard! And yeah, the <laughs> platinum trophy is just impossible. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I, I thought Hub looked quite uh, Hub looked quite interesting. <laughs> yeah. Hub, Hub, it is yeah. really good. What about you? What have you done? Uh, so I, I'm a lot further into Ocean Horn now. That also oh, yeah. has little clumps of grass that you cut down and has hearts. It's so and cool! I love how Zelda is yeah. influenced <laughs> all these things. Um, and that's great. Yeah, I've. I've there's a few times in it where I'm like, I'm not sure what the hell I'm meant to do. So I have to go to the internet for a bit of help. I don't yeah. know if that's because um, it, things aren't signposted clearly and I'm just not taking my time to explore or whether there is a bit of, of a lack of uh, um, like signposting in it. I don't know. But mm-hmm. actually what I'm playing a bit and the dungeons and the puzzles and that are really good. It's a really good game. Sounds um, good, yeah. I finished Knack 2. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, um, so I'm doing my second run on that on hard. That again, that was really good. I really enjoyed Knack too. And again, if people are skeptical, I just say give it a try rather than missing out on it. I think you can get it for about twenty quid now. Yeah, it's quite a good game. I like it. I've still yeah. not got back to it yet. I must do that. My daughter's been going on at me a week. Or when we go play Knack two again, and I'm sitting <laughs> there playing FIFA. Going, I will play it soon. But yeah, said, it's really good. This is the time, yeah, I get struggled because obviously Battle Chase is coming out next week. I think the new Batman episode's coming out. I'm sure it's coming out sooner. It's out already. I meant to check before we started and I forgot to check. So that's something I need to check. The enemy within. I swear it was out soon. I wanted to have a good golf story on the Switch as well because it kind of looks a wee bit like Stardew Valley and it looks quite fun. So I've not bought that yet, and I'm kind of like, oh, should I buy it? I really want to buy it, but it's like, but I'll, then I'll no play this, and I'll no play that, because I'll be playing that. <laughs> and it's like, ah, there's too many games. Actually, I played FIFA on the Switch as well. I got FIFA on the Switch, and it's kind of really rubbish. <laughs> it just looks yeah. dreadful. It absolutely looks dreadful. The menus is a bit basic. There's game modes miss. It's basically the Legacy Edition, if you know what that is. It's like mm. a, it's got the PS3 and Xbox 360 editions, which kind of don't have any of the new features. It's just kind of what all the other previous year's game. <laughs> Does <laughs> it run new, in handheld tits. mode? Yeah, it runs in both, yeah. But I wouldn't put it on the TV. It's going to look dreadful on the TV. I mean, it, I play it in handheld mode. I mean, that's the main way to play it, really, I would say. And it kind of looks all right. The players are tiny. It's got cheese. So it takes you a bit of some getting used to that. But saying that, I have been playing it. And I've kind of been getting into it a bit, enjoying it. But it's just, they say it's the best portable game ever for FIFA. Yeah, maybe it is. But I played it on the Vita and it's not really... No, I mean, it's kind of like that. Yeah, not a million miles away. Yeah. So, although it's probably the best handheld version of that FIFA, it's still a bit... I still think EA could have put a a lot more effort in it if they wanted to. Yeah. It's selling really well, by the way, it's things because it keeps selling out on Amazon, but that's because people seem to be desperate for anything that says Switch on it, as far as games are concerned. Um. Maybe people start to get more picky when there's more games, but I mean, this is a football game for Switch, so of course people are going to want it. But I don't know. I was a little bit disappointed, personally. And I bought it because I thought I wanted a football game, Switch, so I thought it'd be quite cool 
give me some to play when the TV's getting too cut and stuff. So and, <laughs> and it's okay, but it's it's no more than a six out of ten. Do you know what I mean? Like they yeah. could have, they could have done better, definitely, if they really wanted if, to. If you can get a decent match out of it, though, if you can actually have a game and it be a bit tense, and you know the opposition give you a bit of a a go, then at least yeah, it's, it's you know doing what it's set out to do. Yeah, it's all right, but I'm just like I say, it could have been better. The presentation could have been better. The the game plays decent enough. It doesn't seem to be very lag or anything like that. So, I mean, if you play a game, it's all fine. But it just... They could have... When you look at Zelda and you look at uh, Mario Kart even, which is kind of closer to a sports game, they just look so much better. Do you yeah. know what I mean? So if they can do it, I'm sure EA could really do it if it put the resources in. But obviously it would rather put the resources into the PS4 and Xbox 360 version because they're what sell. And that's fair enough, I guess, if they don't have pure unlimited resources, then they've got to put the effort where it sells, haven't they? That's just the yeah, way it is, yeah. I guess. So, yeah, but hopefully next year it'll be better. Just depends how well it sells this year, I guess. <laughs> well, they might not do one next year. No, nah, ah, nah, they'll always do FIFA because they can do that with minimal effort and make a fortune. They've done it on Vita. Do it on yeah. PS3 and Xbox 360 still, where they don't even put any effort in, it still sells tons. Yeah. So they'll definitely release another one. But whether they put the effort in or not just depends how well it sells and how well Switch sells. If this time next year Switch has got 10 million, 12 million units in the world, then you might think, oh, let's put some effort in. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's Maybe. Just a, it just comes down to sales with, with third parties, really. I mean, if it was Nintendo making its own football game, for instance, then all of a sudden you'd be looking at something of real high quality or whatever. But it's just not the way it is. I remember mm. PlayStation done their own football game. What was that called? This is Football, was it called? Or... <laughs> oh, it does sound remember. familiar. Yeah. I think it was that, and it was all right. But, I mean, it was, again, I think it was one of these ones where they couldn't license it or whatever, so that's always disappointing when you end up with stuff like that. Yeah. I think it'd be good if FIFA could give a license to just more than the EA games, but maybe give the license to the Pro Evo games as well, because then that'd create real competition then, because... Uh, EA's probably give them enough money that they don't need to. Oh, yeah. Though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah no, I'm true. just saying it'd be quite cool if there was that sort of level where it'd allow Konami to step up their game. Do you know what I mean? Does it? I don't know. Does a license make? I, obviously, you play more than me, but surely it's about the map, the the gameplay, and and the the feeling of the ball and and nah, the, it, well, nah, it's not Pro the Evo is probably a better football game than FIFA, but I prefer FIFA because it's just all there, all the presentation, all the real kits, all the real players, the real teams. The, I mean, there's a lot things that FIFA does a hell of a lot better than what Pro Evo does, but equally Pro Evo does get some things right that FIFA doesn't. Mm. But everyone chooses FIFA because it's just more realistic. All the players, all the teams, I mean, who wants to play as Man Manchester, whatever, <laughs> Blue, when you can but, play as your yeah. real team, with a real cat, it's just, it makes all the difference, so it does. Definitely. Yeah, that's well, that's fine. I don't play it, so I can't better. comment. I just yeah. think that that seems farcical that that the game doesn't come into it. It's because it's got the real player's name on the back of a shirt or his haircut that people would pick to play that over well, of the, the would. better game. Yeah. Of course they would. That's why they. I mean, that's why most things sell in it because there's celebrities behind it promoting it or whatever. I mean, it's just the way it is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Mm. So these brands do what they do, I guess, isn't it? It's oh, well. a shame. But, but, I mean, Pro Evo's all right. It probably should sell better, but f I think, personally, FIFA's a better game. All, all over package. I think Pro Evo does really well for gameplay, and it's a different, it's a different type of football to FIFA, you see. It plays yeah. differently. 
I'd say FIFA's more slow and build up and Pro Evo's more arcade like, but I mean, I don't know. They're both fun to play. I just thought we'd always choose FIFA because mm -hmm. the overall package is more realistic to me and I just enjoy it more. But well, mm. but I always end up with both anyway. <laughs> okay, that says we're going to wrap it up now. It's getting on a bit. Thanks for joining us, though. It's been a good chat this week. Uh, we'll be back next week, obviously. I don't know if Nicole will be back or not, hopefully. Uh, we'll find some gaming news. We'll probably have some different games to talk about. I definitely want to talk about Battle Chasers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, I don't know what else I'll be playing. I might cave and get Golf, golf Story. I don't know. I probably will. <laughs> it looks quite good. Uh, see all these games I'll be playing on the Switch, but Battle Chasers is PS4, so it's least I get to talk about that. I might talk about some more FIFA as well. I don't know what anyone else is planning to play. Anything exciting? Not really. Don't, don't really plan. Just sort of pick it up and I'm like, oh, I'll give this a go. <laughs> yeah, so we'll see how it goes then. Well, thanks for joining us, everyone, and we'll see you next week. Thanks for now. Bye. Bye. Bye.